Hello geniuses, welcome to another video in Math for Genius. So after clearing CSNet exam, I promised you guys to create a detailed CSNet preparation strategy video. So this video is here. Now one thing to note, this video is specially for the students who are preparing for physical sciences that is physics. And the preparation strategy that I'm gonna share with you takes around three to six months of time to prepare. And this time also depends on your prior knowledge, okay? I took two months to prepare because I had a lot of conceptual and previous knowledge. So for me, it took less time. But if you don't have much prior knowledge, then it will take from three to six months for you to prepare. So let me start with the overview of this video. In this video, I will cover these topics like from where do we start studying? Like from where to get the study material, etc, etc. From where to efficiently start our studying? And in this, I will spend most of my time the subject wise strategy on how to prepare each subject and in what order to prepare them. And also I will share a list of all the important topics that you should never skip from that specific subject. Okay, then this is really important. How will you evaluate yourself? Like that, how will you know that my preparation is working or not? Okay, then the importance of flashcards, like like flashcards literally helped me a lot while my preparation. So I will share how to use them too. And then at the end, I will share some books which I liked for the preparation. Okay, so let us begin. So whenever any student starts to prepare for any competitive exam, they ask themselves like, from where do I study? Okay, so when I started my preparation, I simply went on the internet and searched about a, a good book on CSR net preparation in physics. Okay, that is physical sciences. And this book popped out and I bought it and started to study from this book. Okay, and some of my friends and teachers also suggested me that I should follow standard books. For example, if I'm preparing electrodynamics, like if I'm preparing electrodynamics, then a book by David J. Griffiths is best. So you should study them. Okay, it is fine. Okay, but it is not efficient at all. So here's the truth that I wanna share with you. That is, you can crack any competitive exam with self-study, okay, like buying books and studying them yourself, okay? This is possible, but it will take a lot of time. While studying yourself, you will waste a lot of time doing stuff that you are not supposed to do to crack that specific exam. And there are examples, like there were students who were conceptually really, really amazing. They had a lot of conceptual knowledge, but were not able to crack CSN at exam. So one thing that I want to tell you is that if you want to crack a specific exam, then you have to study specifically for that exam. And studying from books, that is self-study is not that efficient because you tend to make mistakes. So what you need now is mentors. Like you need to surround yourself with people who have already cracked CSNet exam and from them you can efficiently study. So what I found efficient is this, that you should buy a coaching. Now, one thing to be clear, this video is not sponsored by any coaching institute. This is not an advertisement, nothing. This is what I found really efficient. See, I attempted CSNet two times. The first time I was not able to crack it because I tend to self-study. The second time I bought coaching and it helped me in a lot of ways, which I will explain now. And also I won't specify you any specific coaching institute. You can buy a coaching from any good coaching institute. But one thing to keep in mind that the teachers who are teaching there should have cracked CSRNet by themselves okay and that is really important like if someone is teaching you about cracking csr net exam and he himself have not done it then he won't be able to teach you very well okay and what kind of coaching you should always buy spy and that is online coaching because in offline coaching we tend to waste a lot of time in going to classes and we waste a lot of time there so you should always go for online coaching and there are a lot of benefits like you can study from anywhere etc etc and whatever money you save from buying online coaching instead of offline coaching you have to spend that money on getting a good internet connection so that you can watch the videos anything without any buffering and this is really important okay now in buying a coaching there are two options that is recorded lectures or live lectures you have to choose between these two based on your position okay so let me explain that for example if you are in msc 
okay you have academic burden etc etc then go for a recorded lecture series in which you get recorded lectures of all subjects and you can watch them anytime you want okay and the other option is this live one you have to buy this one if you are free like for example you have completed msc and now are preparing for csnet exam then go for live classes because in those classes you have to like attend them regularly wake up at a specific time and start attending classes like you have to dedicate specific time like if you are not busy you have all day to prepare then you can go for live classes now they both have their own benefit for example in recorded classes you can like speed up the videos you can pause and solve the questions and watch them anytime you want okay this is the benefit of record lecture and in live classes what i found beneficial was that we get involved in learning we can ask questions the teachers are asking us so we can get involved if you are really like dedicated into the preparation you get involved into learning so that is what i found beneficial in live classes and the one which i bought was live classes because i finished my msc and then i started to prepare for csnet exam so whatever coaching you are buying keep in mind these things and buy that according to your need now you must be thinking there are tons of full length series of each different subject on youtube right and the teachers they teach really well no doubt but i want you to spend your own money buying those lectures or live classes and this is because if you get free lectures from somewhere you won't value them and you will like ah, i will watch it and and if you have spent your own money like you have spent your own money then you will feel responsible for watching those lecture and you will be serious okay okay now you have study material like now you can start watching them and start to study now let's talk about how to subject wise prepare for csir net okay now this is the list of the subjects who are there in csir net physical sciences and these are the approximate marks weightage they carry in specific exams and they differ a lot in different exams for example the one which i cracked i studied this subject nuclear and particle physics really well and it carries this much weightage but there was not a single question from this subject okay so this might happen so this is just an approximate weightage now with these subject there is something really important and which is general aptitude like the weightage of these marks vary but general aptitude always comes with 30 marks and from these 30 marks i secured 20 and it was like a life saver for me in cracking csnet exam so never forget about this general aptitude many students take it lightly like oh general aptitude it's really easy but this can create the difference of you clearing csnet or not clearing csnet so the coaching which i bought in that there was a special general aptitude series in that there were like 21 videos of 2 to 2 hours in that and i watched those videos and they simply were enough to prepare general aptitude so that i was able to score 20 out of 30 marks in general aptitude okay now a question arises how much to study should we prepare all of these subjects plus general aptitude or should we prepare less now the answer to this is that prepare less do not prepare everything because the thing is that in the exam you have only 3 hours and in 3 hours you don't have time to attempt every single question and find its solution so you have to prepare less than this whole syllabus because see there are a total of 200 marks in csnet exam and it is with choice so you have questions which carry more than 200 marks okay and even from that you only have to score half like the cut off for csnet exam in general category is normally 100 okay so you have to score half of that that means you have to leave more questions and attempt less with higher accuracy so the thing is that you have to prepare less subjects but with a higher accuracy like if a question comes from that specific subject you can solve it with higher accuracy like 80 to 90% of questions from that subject you can solve okay so what subjects exactly you have to prepare like there are nine of these subjects and there is this general aptitude so prepare six of these nine subjects okay with general aptitude and that is more than enough if you prepare six subjects with a really high accuracy with general aptitude then cracking csnet exam is a guaranteed for you okay so let us see how we prepare those six subjects okay so start with these three subjects and these three subjects are really the key of cracking csnet exam because the questions from these three subjects 
mostly comes in C section. Okay, one thing to be really clear, see what my prediction was that there were questions from this subject in the exam and I will score like around 15 marks from these 25 marks. Yes, but in the exam there was not a single question from nuclear and particle physics. Even after this I was able to crack CSN at exam. So, so this strategy works even in the worst case scenario too. So why I'm telling you to prepare these subjects first is because they are small, they have less syllabus, there are not much concepts in these subjects and carry a high weightage and they take around 20 to 30 days to prepare and also you can study them simultaneously too like you can study these two together these two together or these two together like i was able to prepare these three in this amount of time but at worst like you don't have prior knowledge much knowledge then at most around 30 to 50 days you should be able to prepare these three subjects okay now let me tell you the golden topics from these subjects which you should never skip okay so from nuclear and particle physics you should never leave these topics okay these are really important and from condensed matter physics you should never skip these topics okay and from atomic and molecular physics you should never skip these topics these are like the golden topics okay you should note them in your notebook okay now after preparing these three subjects like now they are prepared such that you can solve 90 percent of the questions which come in csn at exam now go for these two subjects that is electromagnetic theory and mathematical physics they both are long subject for example how i prepared electromagnetic theory is that there were live classes and it took around like 31 to 2 hours lectures to complete this so i attended live classes for emt i took notes and they were enough to prepare emt and for mathematical physics i saw recorded lectures the course which i bought had live classes plus the recorded lectures of the previous batch so i saw the recorded lectures for mathematical physics and this is because the coaching which i bought spanned for six months and i only had two months so i mixed live classes and recorded and it took similar time as EMT to prepare and I prepared them simultaneously and it will take around 30 to 40 days to prepare these two subjects. These subjects need really high conceptual knowledge to solve each question like you you want to be able to solve the question from these subjects with tricks. You have to have really high conceptual knowledge for these two subjects to solve the questions but they are worth it because they carry really high weightage. Okay so now let me share the golden topics of these two subjects from EMT you have to never leave these topics from mathematical physics you have to never leave these topics mathematical physics is really washed but these are some of the golden topics that you should never skip now there is a really nice advice which i wanna give you that is completely skip classical mechanics and this is because the questions which are asked from classical mechanics seems easy but once you try to attempt them, they are so confusing, they will waste your time and also a lot of time you will get to a wrong answer. So I like, I like completely skipped classical mechanics for my preparation. Now you might be thinking, Pariyag, what will happen if I skip classical mechanics and a lot of questions from classical mechanics came in my exam. That is exactly what happened with me. There was no nuclear physics and there was a lot of classical mechanics and even after that I was able to crack it. So even at the worst case scenario, you won't be needing classical mechanics. There might be some people who like classical mechanics, you can prepare it. But according to me, if you ask me, you have to completely skip this subject. Now these are the subjects which are left, which is quantum mechanics thermodynamics and statistical mechanics and electronics okay so instead of preparing one of these three subjects let us prepare the important things from these three subjects okay for thermodynamics and statistical mechanics what you need to study is this you have to master the partition function kind of question that is they might have given you energy levels and from that you have to find partition functions and from that you have to find different thermodynamic quantities these kinds of questions always come in csn at exam and see like when i was going to give the exam i simply just opened the section c of the exam and the first question was of this topic the partition function and i was like really happy like okay five marks are here for me so partition function questions are really important 
content so you have to master this thing and also master icing model because a lot of time questions from this topic come in cs and exam you can study more about it it is according to your time and need because i didn't have much time to prepare okay and that is why i went for the most important topics now also in electronics what you have to study is the digital electronic part because it is easier and one question in section C which is of 5 marks always comes and I was able to solve it this time too. So digital electronic part is really important and you can completely skip analog electronic but if you want to study it if you have time you can go for op-amp because a question from op-amp always comes in CS and exam. Okay now let's come to quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics and electromagnetic theory these two subjects are really similar okay you can either study quantum mechanics you can either study electromagnetic theory i went for electromagnetic theory because in the coaching which i took they started emt first so i studied it and they started quantum mechanics just before the start of exam so i didn't prepared it much okay so i didn't just bother to prepare it much i went for emt you can study these two if you have time because both of these subjects need really high conceptual knowledge to solve the questions but if you get that conceptual knowledge it is really easy to solve those questions and you can score really high marks from these two subjects so either study this quantum mechanics or go for electromagnetic theory it's a choice for you i chose emt and it worked for me and also if you have some time and you don't want to go in deep into quantum mechanics then you can study these some of the really important topics which pops up a lot in CS and exam from quantum mechanics so these are some of the important topics of quantum mechanics now we have come to our next section which is how do you evaluate yourself the answer is mock test and mock tests are really important and when to start giving mock tests it is from the very beginning that is every sunday you have to give one mock test and how will you give mock test it is really easy there is a website on the internet named physics by physics there they have provided all the cs and exam papers just download that pdf print it and sit for three hours solve that paper and from answer key get your score okay and it is really important this is the evaluation checkpoints like you will prepare in a week and, and and at the end you will give a mock test and see if my preparation have worked like at start you will score really less mark but as you prepare more and more your marks should increase okay and if they are not increasing then you are doing something wrong and you have to fix it so mock tests are checkpoints that you need to do and it is not like i haven't done much preparation what is the point of doing mock test no as you prepare every sunday give a mock test and before one month of CS and exam buy a test series from any coaching institute you like what is a test series like they simply give us the exam online similar to CSR net and like we give the mock exam there and it gives us our score and compare it with the other students who gave that same mock test okay so it helps us know where do we stand in the crowd because one thing which I want to tell you is that see see what the marks distribution would look like in CSR net exam see it will look like something like this a Gaussian curve there were few students who will score really less most of the students will score average marks and there are really few students who will score really high so you have to just pass from the average because the cutoff is set somewhere here so you have to just be a little higher from the average students to clear cs and exam so focus on being little higher from the average students because a lot of students who are going to give cs and exam will be able to solve easy questions some of them will be able to solve moderate questions and a very few of them will be able to solve really tough questions. So your goal is to solve all the easy questions and solve some of the moderate questions and that will set you apart from the average and get you a place above the cutoff and that is exactly how, how you will crack CS or net exam and how will you know that you are above average or not? It is by giving the test series before one month so buy any test series with your own money so that you are responsible then you give those mock tests and see where you stand like like 10 days before exam the test series which i bought had full length tests like full length CS net exam and i just sat and gave the test and in every test my score was above 100 
and this is how before even giving CS Sanet exam I was sure that I will crack it this time because in mock tests I was always getting above 100 okay and 100 marks is normally the cutoff of CS Sanet exam now let me talk about the power of flashcard like you are studying something and you think like this formula is important I have to remember it make a flashcard of it what is a flashcard it is simply a piece of paper one side the question for example the formula of finding the magnetic field at the center of current loop and the back that formula and like keep it aside and at the end you will have a deck of flashcards and three days like three days before the CSNet exam, I did nothing just to review flashcard. There was a deck of cards. I just took the one. Okay, this is the formula which I have to remember. I remember it and see if I am right or not. I will put it aside and just reviewed these flashcards and they helped me to memorize all the important formula and I didn't forget even a single formula and in the exam there was a question directly from the formulas and I was able to answer it in seconds and know that the time is really important in CS and exam no matter how much you have studied no matter how much you have put your effort if you are not efficient in those three hours you won't be able to crack CS and exam and now I want to share some of the books which I liked. Again, it is not an advertisement. It's just that I have studied from this institute named IFS. So they provide these books and they are also available on Amazon. And there were some what helping in my preparation. One thing that I want to tell you is that the notes which you make while watching the lectures are enough. If you really understand the concept behind the questions that you practice in the class, etc, etc, that is enough. Reviewing those notes is enough. You don't need these books much but if you want to buy this book had all the CSR net exam question paper solutions which were like arranged concept wise for example how much questions came from shell model how much question came from Raman effect so this book contained that and that was helping and this is concept checkbook like for example for a single concept for example shell model concept it contains a bunch of questions from CSR net set differ gate etc etc so that you can test your knowledge of that specific topic so you can buy these three books links to buy these books are there in the description box below you can buy them and if you don't want to buy them don't buy them just focus on the classes and review your notes carefully understand concepts really really well okay now one thing i want to share hard work is really important i myself have studied 14 14 hours per day while preparing for CS Sanet exam and it is really important. So don't think there is a magic strategy. There is something which I don't know and I have to search on YouTube on strategies on preparing CS Sanet exam which will help me qualify it in 20 days in tricks to qualify CS Sanet exam. There is no thing like that. Never forget to do hard work. There is no secret ingredient in cracking CS Sanet exam. It, it's only your hard work and somewhat of smart work a good strategy like I taught you etc etc and now you have prepared okay now what if you are not able to perform in the exam you have prepared three months with all your might but in those three hours you are not able to perform well what will happen then you won't be able to crack it people will say you did not study well right no 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 you were not that good you you are a lazy person you must have not put all your effort so no one will see the hard work that you put in. So, so how to efficiently attempt the exam? Which sections to start? How to keep track of time, etc, etc is really important. And in the next video, I will teach you exactly what I found efficient by giving a lot of mock tests, a lot of test series for CSRNet exams. So in the next video, I will teach you how to attempt the exam. So I hope this video helps you. I hope I was able to share whatever I knew on cracking CS and exam. So I hope this helps. Again, thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.